I had no idea that there is a filter in Photoshop that allows you to create this kind of amazing effects, but now I know. So here's the video, let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Drone here back with another video and as you can see this is the final output and this is the original image that I'm going to use. I will also use this texture. And if you want to use any of these images, the download link is in video description, so feel free to use it. Now to create this effect, first thing I will do is double click on my background layer and unlock it. Now I need to make a copy of it, so I'm gonna press Ctrl J, so as you can see we have a copy here. Now it's time to apply the filter, so I'm gonna go to filter and there you have this option for stylize uh, here and there you have extrude. Now you cannot see the live preview but here's the simple logic. Uh, this is blocks, this is pyramid. So this will be triangles and this will be squares. Uh, and for the size and depth, the bigger the numbers, the thicker and longer streaks you will create. Uh, so uh, I'm going with 20 and 40. It's 30 by 30 I think by default. But for me it's 20 and 40 and always select random for this effect. And then I will go and hit OK. So as you can see it has created this really weird looking output now you cannot control like where how much pyramids oh sorry the squares do you need you have to roll with whatever the photoshop gives you so this is what we got and now we have to utilize this so here's what i'm gonna do right uh, first of all i will apply a layer mask this third icon you see here apply that and select your mask and then press Control i and if you are on apple system press command i so basically this mask will hide everything on this layer but it is still there okay so now i'm gonna select my brush tool uh, and i will make sure that my foreground color is completely white now make sure you have selected the mask the image and mask they are different things so i have selected my layer mask and i have white color here with 100 percent opacity now i will make my brush slightly bigger i'm using my bracket keys to make it bigger and smaller now you have to paint with white color wherever you need this effect as you can see so i need this on the hair and a little bit on the forehead now don't worry about the outside area i know the brush is really soft and you have to keep it soft uh, so don't worry about the outside area uh, just paint it in the areas where you need it so i'm gonna paint a little bit here on the dress uh, and also a little bit here uh, if you wanna see uh, let look at it my hardness is completely 0% uh, so let's go and start painting here again so take your time and paint it really nicely now if you want to remove it from somewhere uh, you have to paint with black color so I want to remove it from her skin here a little bit uh, so you can paint with black color to remove something and a little bit here and a little bit there and that looks nice now here's the problem right if we zoom in you can see there is a lot of boxes on the outside and we don't need that so you have to make a different kind of selection so go and select your third option here as you can see uh, right click and make sure you have selected this polygon lasso tool now this will allow you to make selection in completely straight lines and that is that is going to be really helpful in this uh, scenario so i'm just gonna go and start making the selection of the boxes so you can just point and click and that is it there's no big deal in this effect uh, sorry in the selection process So as you can see I have done the best selection I can do for now so when you are done with the selection just go uh, and whenever you want to close it just double click and it will make a selection of it see it's simple as that now go and select your brush like every time and we want to remove it right so we will paint with black color in layer mask uh, so let's paint with black color and remove the unnecessary area that we don't need it you can follow the same for this but I think here it looks really nice if you don't remove it uh, so now I'm gonna go to select and then I will go and select deselect. So here comes the important part okay uh, for this area. So all you have to do is just keep your brush really soft and paint with black color uh, until you remove the dark parts that will, will be created because of the eye because it's really dark. 
सो यू हैव टू मैच इट विद द फोरग्राउंड एज नाइसली एज पॉसिबल ए सिंपल सॉफ्ट ब्रश विल डू द ट्रिक फॉर यू इट्स नॉट अ बिग डील बिलीव मी सो द बेसिक आउटपुट इज रेडी एंड इट लुक्स रियली रियली नाइस नाउ इट्स टाइम टू गिव इट सम मोर डेप्थ यू कैन कीप इट हियर इट्स योर पर्सनल चॉइस Uh, but what I would like to do is create a new blank layer from the second last icon. Then I will press Control, Alter, Shift, and E. So what it will do is create a JPG of the image that we just created inside Photoshop. Then I go to Filter, uh, and then I go to Filter Gallery. Let's zoom out so you can see properly. So in the Filter Gallery, what I like to do is make sure that my edge thickness is zero. And the posterization uh, that's on maximum, and the edge intensity is as minimum as possible. So here we have one percent. Uh, that looks really nice. And then go and hit OK. So now if we zoom in and if I turn it on and off, you can see it gives us that really cool effect, uh, and it separates the boxes, the extrude effect really nice. So it looks really good. So the basic effect tutorial is. over here and now i will apply a texture to make it look better so if you want to continue please keep watching so here we have the paper texture and now i'm going to press control a control c to copy it uh, i will come back here and i will press control v now the texture is really small so i will press control t uh, and let's rotate it first uh, i will hold on my shift key so we can rotate it real nice then i will press alter and shift and then i will make it bigger see now i can make it bigger from both sides like all the sides at once and then i will go and confirm it then i will change its blending mode to what do you call multiply now as you can see it is really dark and i don't want it on the woman so i will go and select this third option here the layer mask uh, select my brush tool and what do we do we use black color to remove something in the layer mask So I will remove it from the model because I don't want it there. Uh, so let's go and remove it as much as as nicely as possible. Uh, I like to keep some of this uh, on uh, the edges because it blends really nice. Uh, and let's do it here. Now, as you can see, the texture is really, really dark. So, to get rid of that, I will go and create a new adjustment layer, and I will select levels. And here, I will make my texture really bright, and also a bit uh, brightness in highlights too. Now, you can see it is also affecting the image below it. So, I will go and click on this little icon here, and it will clip it. So now, this level effect, like the adjustment layer, will only uh, be affected on the texture. So, as you can see. So now I can go back to my levels and adjust it really nice, uh, and let's go and make it a slightly more brighter. So that looks really good. I would also like to make my model brighter, but also separately. So I will select my layer one, uh, create a new adjustment layer, and as always, I will select levels and make also her a bit more brighter. So as you can see now, this this only affects the model, not the texture. and then for overall effect i will go and create a new adjustment layer and then select vibrance and make my vibrance to all the way 100% then i will go and create a new adjustment layer and select curves and just lift up this thing a little so we have overall brightness uh, so it looks really nice uh, since the hair and dress are really dark uh, so we got that done and now it's time to create the popular lighting so create a new blank layer from here Uh, and here i will go and make sure that i have selected some kind of bluish tone you can go with any color you want just make sure it matches really good okay uh, so this bluish tone looks really nice to me and i will make my brush really big uh, like that and my hardness is on 0% as you can see so just go and make a click like that and then change its blending mode to screen uh, and i will move it a little bit here so we can see the lighting really nice and you can also put this lighting under your vibrance uh, so it gets affected by the uh, what do you call this curves and vibrance effect and then you can reduce the opacity uh, to give a different kind of effect so as you can see this is the final output and this is the image that we started with uh, so just in little to no time we created this really funky effect and this filter is really really awesome you can be creative and try it on animals fruits or anywhere you want you it, the possibilities are just endless 
uh, and I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button so I can know and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions regarding this video uh, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below and if you want to check out even more photoshop effects like this uh, you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you will get the update plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my channel where i have more than 85 free photoshop tutorials just waiting for you so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop